was talking on mute. Anyway, uh, yeah, I was going to say, I've never seen anybody, uh, I've never started a stream in memory, in recent memory anyway, and just had nobody join for several minutes. So, that was weird, but here you are now. Uh, anyway, but it's just as well because I had a weird, I just had a weird experience where uh, somebody called me from the the gate code box at work uh, trying to get me to buzz them in I guess uh, I'm guessing it was just somebody bashing different uh, codes on the box trying to get somebody to let them in so I actually need to see if I can't check and make sure uh, that nobody's breaking in over there at least as best I can give me a second You can hear me now, right? Just just checking. Oh, is that not hooked up anymore? Okay, that's a bummer. Okay, yeah, all good. Um, anyway. Oops. Uh, yeah, so. Sorry, let me just, uh. Uh. Let me just, it's important that you see the. Hang on, let me just exit and restart because you do need to see the intro. There's no music, unfortunately, because if there was, it would bang just like that did. Um, however, when you start it, you get this image, which is very, very good. Uh, but then you get this image, um, which I'm I'm sort of never not thinking about. I think I, I saw this. Scarmophagus. I was just thinking about that earlier. Anyway, I think I first saw this image several years ago when I found this game inadvertently. And uh, it's just been in my head at all times ever since. I'm always thinking about it. It has the same... It has a similar energy to that French anime energy of um, Zone 66 that, that I had up in the last stream. Except I suspect this one's not made by Europeans. Yeah, that's the thing, though. Um, but yeah, if, if I'm perfectly honest, I'm not sure what character set that is. Um, maybe just because of the resolution, I, I'm not entirely sure what whether that's Chinese or Korean or what. I'm not the best at telling those alphabets apart uh, at low resolutions. So, anyway can't be Korean. They've got the whole sort of stacked symbols thing going on. Anyway, um, but yeah, I, I think about this at all times. Um, and this is a better game than Zone 66. Let's not get it twisted. Hangul. Oh, okay. Anyway, I love that it runs at that crisp. Runs at that crisp VGA resolution. Um, Oh, that's right. I gotta give it some more CPU cycles. It ch kind of chokes on the default 3D6 setup. There we go. There's no music except when you lose. And yeah, so it's sort of a lunar pool kind of thing, but not. Um, but the wild thing about it is, uh, yeah. So, so it's not like uh, I can't at all. I'm having a bit of a bad night, um, as you may have figured out already. But anyway. 
Um, it's, uh, uh, it's not your normal pool game. You're not just putting the balls in the pockets. I don't remember what kind of what pool game that's that's called, because it's not just pool. There are a thousand pool games, but um, it's the more was it billiards? I, I don't remember. But the one where you actually have to do specific things with the balls to win. Uh, anyway, so you got to earn twenty points or you get disqualified. Basically, uh, to get points, you have to hit both the red balls. If you hit the fireball, it blows up. Um, there are more instructions in here, but I, I can't be damned or held um, to uh, to bother with them. Anyway, so I love the little animations. Also, so we've got this dashboard up here, and like obviously this one lets us put English uh, on the ball in various ways, but then this whole thing. Now, I've played this game several times, or attempted to, and I've had... I have not been able to quite remember how this works. And I could read the instructions. They're right there. I could just read the instructions. Um, but anyway, I think with these, you literally, like, give the ball a flight plan. Oh, and I messed that one up directly because I forgot to about the, the power meter. Um, so anyway, we do that. And then... Yeah, there we go. So you could put, like, a Bezier curve on it. And actually, that, that worked. That actually did work. Um, <clears throat> so basically, this is like a full Bezier curve. Oh, I see. They're all Beziers. They're just different point counts. This is a six point. This is a four point. Uh, this is a, uh, or I, I'm sorry, I guess five point. This is a three point. This one, I guess I don't know about. What's this one do? Oh, whoa. Why is it showing me the actual ball when I do that? Oh, that's weird. Yeah, so I, I don't entirely know how these work. Um, hey, Toka. Thanks for joining. I'm doing kind of blah. Um, so, yeah, it's like... They don't... It's not super clear what exactly these do. Um, I mean, maybe that one would be a little more... Maybe a little clearer if I asked it to do something counterintuitive. No, nah, it seems like it just goes straight. So, like, they do seem to be superpowers, but I don't quite understand how they work. Um, I think that was a decent score. Uh, well, I did something anyway. Um, let's just look at the instructions. Oh, that's the same thing, right? Let's look at the help. This pool does not have pockets. It's just like a little, this is just a little intro to pool. Let's talk about no pocket pool. It it does sound like they're salty. Like, yes, there's no pockets on the table. This is how we mostly do it, which is true. Okay. So I have to hit at least two red balls to get points. Okay. Oh, I guess we can just sort of ignore these because we're playing on beginner mode. There are 100 levels. I wonder what a level consists of. Weapons. Oh, it's two-player. Okay, that's why... I was wondering why it had the colored stripe up here. It tells you which player is using it. Okay. Okay, so you can do the pool stick thing. There's a... Oh, there's a preview option. Oh, neato. The rubber band-like white line appears only when the mouse pointer is inside the pool table. Press left mouse button. Huh. Oh, there we go. These are called Bezier curve weapon. There we go. <coughs> yeah. Oh, jeez. Okay. All right. I, God, I just realized I, um... The reason that my Bezier curves aren't doing anything is because I'm not thinking in Bezier. Um, I've been thinking in hard control points. Duh, duh, duh. Um, I have to pull a much tighter, much tighter curve. I know better. Come on. Anyway. Jose Louis Lagrange curve weapon. 
Lagrange curve passes through all control points. These curves are heavily used in designing cars, ships, airplanes, architecture, laser quality fonts, and etc. Wow, this was made by a nerd. The Hermit curve weapon, the hardest curve to use in our pool. These curves are available only in computer. You don't say. And then, of course, these are the, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, you can change. You can fine-tune the dots are? Is that what they're saying? Huh. Don't forget to chalk the tip. Wow, this is comprehensive. <laughs> oh yeah, Toka, this is the this is the boggle coat shirt from from the King of the Hill episode. Completely unauthorized. Um absolutely the person who made this did not have the right to make it. Boggle. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. For more information about three cushion shot, write to six hundred Grant Street, Denver, Colorado, Billiard Federation of USA. What? This is just a big old joke. But I don't... Whoa. 1994 Pool Plus version 7. They were going hard in the paint. So yeah, it's made by Chungbi Shin, uh, Tempe, Arizona. Man, early indie PC devs. Wild. Just wild. Alright, well... Uh, yeah, that's the thing. This game does look very hard. Uh, let's see what the pool cue... Oh. Oh, it does that. I remember this being very hard. Oh, that's right. I remember how this works. This sucks. Oh, we got a different song than last time. Okay, hang on a second. Gibbs. been behind me this entire time inconveniently now I can sit in my chair he's here folks this music Kind of slaps. Large man. All right. That's not me moving the mouse, by the way. That's a, a pre-computed trajectory it does. All right. Let's try this again. Okay. So all we... Oh, and right. The way this one works is when you press the mouse cursor, it just goes wah, 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 wah. When you right-click, it changes the direction. And so that allows you to sort of visualize what you're doing. And then it hits it with whatever strength the meter's at. Oh, come on. Is that going to hit? Oh, it did hit. Nice. That was actually decent. <coughs> yeah, of course, that's a furniture store. Yeah, that's a given. Ah, crap. Oh. Now, the guy who stole my Pizza Hut account is in uh, New Jersey. This is the second time somebody in New Jersey has stolen my Pizza Hut account, actually. It happened, uh, like, four years ago with a different account. Um, and I do wonder if it's the same guy or, or what. Oh. Not half bad. Oh, wait, really? Wait, that doesn't count? Okay, that counted. Oh, let's try that. Let's try that preview. Yeah? I did not mean to shoot there, but... Uh, okay, I got some points. I 
don't really understand. If I'm honest, I don't really understand the rules. Oh, ooh, I almost, almost hit the fireball. It would have been very bad. Um, score to go three. Okay, we're doing okay. Ooh, oh, okay. Okay. All right, do I get to progress now? More UI than game was really common in early video games. Dude, this goes. I'm thinking I'm going to get YouTube copyright struck on this. Oh, yeah, this is Italia Disco. You're totally right. That's why it slaps so hard. It's like a Dave Rogers kind of energy. The, the, the space drums. Outstanding. Oh, this has to be tracker music, no question. 1995? <clears throat> it's 1994, Bull, but this version was released in 95. Oh, man, that's so good. Oh, wait, no, I wanted to go to the next level. Ah, damn it. Uh, okay, let's just do it again. We can do this quickly. Ooh, I actually lost a life just there. Yep. Oh, man. I'm not going to be able to... I'm going to have to restart. Oh, man. L! 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 Oh, man. Can I get Fs in the chat? Oh, that, like, prop... Whoa! Whoa! What's going on? What? What? They kiss. Thank you for playing our computer version of Billiard's game. <coughs> Maximum... Maximum L. Incredible. Briefly, briefly, before we continue. Uh, hang on. How do I do this? Wait, didn't I fix that? I didn't? I didn't fix that? Oh, terrible. Give me, give me a second. Oh, I'm just taking that directly? Oh, okay. Give, give, give me a second. Oh, come on. Don't do that. Sorry, I'm having a problem. Transform, edit transform, scale to inner bounds. Come on, OBS. Get with it. Okay. Okay. And then, do I not have a background? I must have a background. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up, everyone. Hang on. Wait. Uh, yeah, let's... Oh, not that one. Let's use uh, that one. Get the screen. There we go. There we go. Okay. Anyway, um, I was just going to say, so I got this absolutely gargantuan die sub printer um, that's about, I don't, know, I don't know, 20, 25 pounds. It's an absolute beast. Uh, I, I just wanted to show you I printed some pictures with it. Uh, I, can f I haven't had a, a printer that could print like proper color photos in so long, and this looks so good. Uh, so yeah, there's, there's my channel logo. Just absolutely looking great and glossy. You read the, you can almost read the 16.9 on the viewfinder. We're doing we're doing vacation photos now. I'm gonna take you through the whole slideshow. Um, we've got a, that's Gibbs. It's really shiny in here. Wow, it's very hard to show these off. Uh, there's no angle. There we go. Now you can see him. That's Gibbs. 
There he is. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, uh, oh, here we go. Um, I just had this laying around, uh, and this is just an outtake from my NES video, I think, back when I made that. Maybe not. Maybe this was shortly afterwards. I don't know. Um, but yeah, there I am, uh, some years ago. Uh, and, uh, well, you know, yeah, well, anyway, um, and then, uh, there's, there's another, there's another of him. There he is. That's, that's him, a uh, large man, and, uh, let's see this, oh, this is a, this is a level from the original Doom that I was playing in that Doom RTX mod that looked pretty dope. Uh, and then that's the the hundred k subscriber live show thumbnail. So yeah, I just I haven't had a really a printer as such for such a long time. I've just had a color laser jet. That isn't really fit for this sort of thing. Uh, so I just thought that was I just thought that was fun. All right, let's play some billiards. <coughs> Hello, Ziggynox. Welcome. Yeah, billiards is meant to be an effort post. No. Ah, that's a reset. I might as well just restart, honestly. I'm not going to have the lives to... Uh, oh, come on. Hit it, hit it, hit it. Ah. Shit, howdy. Yeah, no points. Oh, man, this sucks. Yeah, okay, all right. I just have to power through this until I die. Uh, Y'all read any good books lately? Um, yeah, yeah, mm hmm. Oh, man. Like, I'm not even really bothering because I know I'm, I'm going to be out of lives before I get to the next level anyway. But, uh. Oh, man. I'm, like, actually kind of astonished um, at, at what a bad job I've been doing even like not trying I'm, I'm kind of astonished oh no man yeah oh yeah animorph slaps books are terrifying I do not want to know whether that fanfic was horny. Please don't tell me. <clears throat> All right. Let's try this again with feeling. That wasn't feeling. That was feeling bad. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. All right. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Oh, man. What is wrong with me? <sighs> oh, yeah, there's no nostalgia to be found in Animorphs. Jeez. There was nothing pleasant about Animorphs. Oh, I was thinking... Oh, there we go. Okay. Back in it. All the books I've read are depressing. Oh, man. What's the best strat here? I guess I'm really going to have to just... I'm going to have to hit that guy. Ah, shit. Not like that, though. Ah, uh, that's a life. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, really. Okay, well, at least that worked. God, score to go 15? No way. And then I lose. Ugh. 
All right. I'm going to try this one more time because I actually have other games. In fact, ones I wanted to play more than this, which I've seen before. No! Okay, all right. <sighs> Let's play something I haven't seen before. The art department. Does super high Wi Fi rates. Is this all we're going to get, or is it going to go somewhere hard, like more harder core? Okay. Drop, drop. Schnell. Okay. Middle. Oh wow, there's no there's no starting sequence. You're just in it to win it immediately. Oh no, I have a gnome. Well, you know, it, I think it's really funny how with all the power of the PC platform, which was immense honestly. Like this in this era, in 1995, with the PCs this was targeting, they could have made a fully 3D polygonal uh, video game. They didn't have to, but I'm just saying they could have. And instead, they decided to dial it back and aim for like a Mario Kart. And they made one that has worse render distance than the actual Mario Kart and is generally less playable. That's a feat. I'm impressed, if I'm honest. The music seems solid, but... Oh, wait, that was a pickup? I thought that was an obstacle. Yeah, this whole thing seems just, like, weird. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and... going to go ahead and exit that. So that was not an improvement. Dungeon.exe. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Why don't you look at that? Oh, there he is. That was him. I don't think this is actually going to work. Oh, this. Oh, this game. I think this is just the intro movie. When it tries to launch the actual game, it's going to fail. So I'm not expecting this to actually work. Um, but yeah, I dead ass forgot about 3D Cyberpunk. Oh, hey, the game's running. Let's look at that. Kind of seems like maybe the music isn't going to work. Hmm. Actually, kind of seems like several things aren't going to work. Whoa. Oh, wait, there was a crash, and then it uncrashed. Oh, man, I forgot about... I forgot about this.
Did I just own goal myself? I don't remember why this stood out so much to me as a child. Like, it seems really kind of very normal and, and not particularly exciting now. Yeah, I mean, so the thing is that um, Rocket League was not um, by far a novel idea, you know, not to say that it's not to say that it's not a, you know, very impressive accomplishment and very, you know, distinct and unique and definitely, you know, deserves the uh, accolades it has. I'm just saying that the basic ideas of, you know, vehicular sports as a game genre, oh man, they were all over. It's interesting that, um... Despite the ceiling being seemingly just a solid gradient, um, I don't think it actually is. I think it actually does have a texture. It's just a gradient texture. Because um, it's having a, like sort of weird scaling artifacts. You know, um, when you play like uh, some of those terrible like Wolfenstein grade uh, 3D FPSs of the era um, that were all, all over, at the time. Um, oh, I always like this. When you roll into the shop, you can see a picture of the shop interface before you bump into it, but they updated it at some point since I played it. When I played it, it looked exactly like the little little screenshot there. Anyway, I was going to say the... Um, oh. Oh, there's actually stuff in this arena. Um, I was going to say, a lot of the like terrible... Um, there's that awful FPS engine that was used for all these terrible throwaway... Um, Sorry. Uh, there are all these terrible FPSs, and you, you can always spot them because they had the same awful double-barreled shotgun weapon uh, sprite in every single one of them. Um, but this, the, the ceiling was always just a smooth gradient, and it was just written directly onto the onto the screen wherever the, the game wasn't being rendered, so it didn't move at all, and it looked terrible. This does not have that problem. But it's weird. Um, if that's the case, that they, they really did um, basically render that in actual 3D... Uh, it's weird that, um, no, no, ah, I thought I was about to get stochastically scored on. There we go. Um, it's weird that they would use, um, a flat texture for it like that. So the AI in this appears to be unbelievably dumb, um, but maybe that's just a setting. Maybe I need to, because I seem to remember it being quite a bit tougher. Um, Gibbs is now standing in front of the screen, so that's inconvenient. This music, um, to be clear, not amazing, I would say. So this is a full contact vehicular sports game. If the if the other guy gets the ball, you can punch it loose. I think that just happened to me. I think I think he successfully punched me. I missed. It's weird. It feels like I'm moving slower than I was before. Oh, I think he just punched it into his own goal. So that's really funny. Okay, and now I go to the shop. Yeah, so that's that's the video game. Um, let's see what the next level looks like, and then I'm going to quit. Oh, moving goals. 
Nice. Yeah, so at least there's elaborations, you know. Oh, and you know what? Non-orthogonal walls. This is a doom grade engine. Oh, he didn't punch me. You have like a, a grip strength that runs down. As you hold the ball, you start losing it. And uh, when the meter runs out, you drop it. Uh, I may have scored on myself in that last one because I wasn't paying attention. All right, well, anyway, so there's that game. That's, yeah, that's kind of cute. Um, anyway. What do we have here? Battle Wrath. I've never heard of this game. Gibbs, lay the hell down. Down with you. They are now locked in eternal combat. Wow, um, the mouse is really iffy because the game is sampling it too quickly due to CPU. It is really having a tough one. Um, okay, Gibbs wants to be on my lap or something. Let me go ahead and we go. Whoa! Hello! Ah, uh, it's running maybe a bit faster than it's supposed to be. Let me slow it down to 5%, see if that's any better. No. How about 1%? Okay, yes. All right, now, the game does seem to be playing itself. It also huh, doesn't look good. Um, it looks bad, actually, is the thing of it. Wow. Um... So yeah, I'm not completely certain, but I think that maybe... I don't know if I'm playing this game. I think it might be playing itself. Let me... Bail. Uh... Oh, that's the wrong folder. Let's let's launch this again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it's not just me getting beat up because I'm not putting in any inputs. I think I'm, I'm I think the game is playing itself. Uh, so let's look at. Yeah, no, we already saw that, please, sir. Oh, it's just way, 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 way too fast. Okay, slow down to 1%. Oh, man, I don't like the lack of granularity of the DOSBox uh, speed controls by default. I think there's a way to change it, but then you're sort of stuck with it. Okay. Well, it says... It says player 1 keyboard, player 2 keyboard. Oh, you know what the problem might be? Yeah, so I, I whipped past this too quickly. There we go. AI and AI. There we go. <clears throat> A new combatant arises. Okay, there. Then the AI part's gone, so let's go ahead and... A new combatant arises. Okay. And then let's look at our... What are our warrior options here? Oh, we just got the two of them? Huh. Chronos and Razor. Yeah. 
Yeah, this game is an effort post for sure. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, there we go. When I slow it down to 1%, it works okay for a moment. And then it gets too slow to, to live. Okay, so yeah, it's definitely just your, your basic... Oh, holding down Z charges something up on the left guy. Huh. Oh, and then right enter charges something up on him. But then where are my attacks? No one's been hurt yet, so... Boy, that sure is a move. Oh man, this is quality work. All right, this was never good. Um, I've watched several speedruns of Daggerfall, so I'm familiar with what it is. I don't think I would be that shocked, but I would be incredibly bored. All right. Oh, this is gonna be crap. I uh, I loaded this up sight unseen. I couldn't find a Google result for what it was. This is made by a 13-year-old. Blood Monsters. Gary. How is there more? This is like six minutes of original music. This goes so hard. I'm, um, I'm spent. This is all I needed. No, I don't want to be Tom. I want to be right where I am. This sounds like a Neil Cicerega joint. I, I want Neil Cicerega to chop and screw this. I want him to put, like, a Lannis Morris set over it. Christ. Yeah, if you play this in a club, people would get down to it. I'm right. Hell's Bells. Hang on, I'll turn it down a touch, but I need to go find out whether I can pull this out of the game. This is breathtaking. Please tell me this is a .mod file. I'm begging you. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, 
I don't know what format it is, but it's uh, it's all just like .dot .dat files and whatnot. I don't think there's any. Uh, uh, this is made by some Finnish kid. Okay. Um, God, this is so good. All right. Holy crap. Holy crap. Press Jotain key. Your corporal. Yes. The thing is, no matter what this game is, and we know it's going to be just sludge, but whatever this is, it's not going to be as good as what we've experienced so far. Yeah, you are walking and looking for the monsters. Kill them all. Destroy guns. You are walking and looking for monster. Wait, we've changed weapons? Shooting. Press S key. Blood monsters. Now you can kill the monster. Okay. Correct, yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is this is a new grounds movie. This is so far ahead of its time. I think it's getting longer. I'm trying to exit now. Okay, let's have the intro. Please tell me that's it. Please tell me that's the whole intro. This kid works at like Remedy now. Wait, is that the Max Payne people? Uh, Antaziga. Yeah, um, that was incredibly good. Uh, press space to DOS. Every single second of this was everything it should have been. Um, wow, wow, wow. I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually like staggered. I don't even know. I'm not even super sure how to continue now. Just. Hang on, for what it's worth, let me just open a file or two here in Notepad. Plus, plus. Uh, yeah, that's not it. Yeah, the stuff isn't just zipped or anything, sadly. 
Uh, yeah, that's not it. <sighs> okay, yeah. Um, wow. Wow. All right, next game. I don't know what most of these games are. Oh, uh, Blob, uh, hang on a second. I don't think you're on my Discord, are you? That's fair. Let me let me just try pasting the link to the Discord uh, file. See if you can just download that. <laughs> Alright, drop it in the chat. <laughs> Hilarious. Add me. I'm starting a new game. Boy, this is not going to... Oh, wait. Moonlight Software? Didn't they do... Um. Hang on. Didn't they do... Uh... Oh, Clyde's Revenge. Okay. Yeah, they did Hocus Pocus. That's right. I've played this before. I just remembered. It's not good. Phase shifting to Castle 1. Oh man, that is so European. That's right. I remember having this as a, as a micro child. Yeah, this is just sort of a uh, collect-a-thon. It's got the like wild like molecular background. It's cute. Kidding. Does that is that a mod file? Hang on. Forget this game. I don't care about this game anymore. Absolutely, those are just mod files. Incredible. mod files for all the uh, absolutely absolutely incredible uh, wow wow okay uh, thank you uh, I, I super appreciate that um, Give me a second, I just got an email I need to forward to someone. Okay. Um, I, uh, 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 Blood Monsters, Blood Monsters, <laughs> just, I'm captivated by Blood Monsters. I don't even know, oh man, I don't even know what to think anymore about life. Um, uh, I don't know how to I don't know how to proceed from there. Uh okay, so I've already seen that. What do we got here? Uh wait, is this an installer? This is an installer. Um <sighs> Smash that fast forward. Okay. Ooh, I recognize that background. Whoa. Huh. 
gosh, have I played this before? Boy, this, it, with DOS games, it was really common uh, to have a super cool intro for a game that ended up just being a Galaga clone. Just, like, total crap. Um, and this has that energy. You know, the digitized bitmap uh, of a render and, like, the over-elaborate story. And the music. Like, this is pretty dope. Uh, maybe this is Metroid. It... Oh, whoops. That was an intro video that I just partially skipped. Oh, well, high scores. This has got to be an arcade style game. Man, is this just going to be a, a Galaga? Whoa. Oh! Okay, this is not what I expected. Although, boy, it sure is. It sure is European. Okay, so I've got limited ammo for everything. My axe is on number four. Control is fire. So this is a... Okay, so this is a pitfall. Or, uh, sorry, not pitfall, but... um. Oh, jeez. Um... What am I thinking of? Isn't it one of the Pitfall games I'm thinking of? Yeah, I mean, I, I figured I probably could have looked through the stuff and found the header. I was just hoping that it would... Like, a lot of stuff just has a text header. It'll just say, you know, mod um, in the first couple bites. Um, and I, I don't know. I guess maybe I've never opened a mod in a text editor before. Maybe I would have noticed it. I, I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have recognized the hex header any more than the uh, 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 the text mode version. So, I'm thinking. Oh, I see. There's a ladder over there. Okay. I'm guessing those butterflies will kill me just as dead as anything else. Oh, we got some forced fields. Um, I'm very low on pips. Actually, I'm out of pips. Huh, interesting. So, okay, so those aren't forced fields. Those must be switches. Hmm. Do I... I'll bet I hit it. I'll bet that's what's up. Yeah, that's probably what's up. Hmm, doesn't seem to be. Guessing if I hit those guys, they kill me instant. Where's my health? I wonder if that's the heart in the upper right, and I wonder. Oh, okay, so that's an open gate, quote unquote. Oh, interesting. It is it is it hurting me to run into those guys? It's probably hurting me in like a uh, a health gauge so that I can't see. Like, 380 points. I'm getting points for killing them. It's not clear to me why I would shoot something instead of uh, just running into it. Okay, now that kills me.
I don't know if they are hurting me. Maybe they're not. Oh, okay, there it is. The blue diamond to the right of the, like, alien face up there is my health. Uh, and actually, I've just realized that I have an inventory. That key in the upper right, that was a heart earlier, which I'm thinking was a... Oh, hey, well, would you look at that? Instructions. Okay. Oh, whoa, interesting. Suicide, that suggests you can get stuck in unwinnable situations. Interesting. Interesting effects, music. Oh. Okay, the golden flash used against the flying enemies. Axe. Needed to open the rotating doors. There we go. Plus minus scrolls through the inventory. Enter activates. That's an energy power up. Immortality. Screen clear. Stops the lightning. Uh, the gold key opens the exit. And then there's robot ammo. Two shots for the robot. See robot usage. Oh, you can have a robot. The robot will try to follow the hero. Sometimes it's very useful to wait for the robot. Okay. Normal mode. All right, well, that was very informative. Let's push on. Oh, Gibbs! He's purring extremely loudly into the mic. See if we can get that. Hey, Gibbs. <sighs> Hello, CT22. Uh, let me know if we got those good... Those. Oh, he likes everything. He loves being rubbed. He likes being booped. He likes having scritches and pats. Right? And he likes being... Uh, squeeze. Squeeze the kitty. We have to squeeze the kitty. There we go. Oh, he's just having a grand old time here on the desk. That's Gibbs. There he is. Everyone loves being squished, booped, having your everything pulled on, being bopped, being patted. He will let me cradle him for some length of time. There's some, like, lizard creatures here in the video game. Uh... The limited ammo nightmare that's on display in this game is is really something. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hang on. Look at the alien face at the top. That's part of my HUD. The alien face is the origin for that slime that's dripping down. It's diegetic. Yeah? Is that what we're doing? Oh, that is a stylistic choice that 
There's a line in a George Carlin routine. I can't remember what it is. He, it's, he's, I think it's something terrible. It might have been a joke that we don't tell anymore. He had a few of those. Uh, but he tells it, and he just goes, that's a dump. That's a triple pun, goddammit. You didn't think of it. <laughs> we don't want the goo. Uh, at least I don't want the goo. You can make your own decisions, but don't tell me about them. Uh, uh, um, wow, uh, wow, diegetic goop mouth. Uh, some people kill you for calling them that. Who's fighting words? Go to hell! That sucks, man. <laughs> oh my god, let me use a knife. There we go. Well, all right, I just took the L on that one. Wah! Wow, was that a reference to the time that people bullied the guy from Smash Mouth into, uh, Steve... Steve... Haskell? Haswell? Something like that? Har's, Harwell? Uh, into eating a bunch of eggs? And, 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 and held a bunch of charity money at the uh, Ransom. That was messed up. Oh, hey, you know what? There's the lightning, and I just picked up the item that stops the lightning. Now, I don't remember seeing the spinning pyramid on the list of items. So, I don't know if that's going to do anything for me. Also... Uh-oh. Huh. Oh, bonus. Big money, big prizes. I love it. Why did I do that? Oh, whoops. Damn. I don't think this weapon does what I want. Do I have any other items? No. Oh, well, okay. All right. It did something. Uh, I think I'm going to have to go back up. Yeah, Smash Mouth Eat the Eggs was extremely funny, except for the... Like, I it, I just sort of got... Oh, God. Wait a minute. What? What killed me? Did I die from touching the mouth? Oh, there was a, a thing up there, and also I'm very low on health. Oh, yeah, very low on health. Mistakes were made. Okay, well, there's a health pickup down there, and it looks like I don't need to go any further that way, so that's good. Hey, you know, is it just me, or is my man not wearing nearly as many pants as one would really rightly expect him to be wearing? I feel like almost maybe the number is none at all. I don't think I went down and got anything. No, I didn't. Okay. This, uh, this says bomb. This, oh, okay. I think I know which bomb that is. Okay, I guess I don't really need to do anything with it. I think those are the bombs that it's talking about. Oh, I see. I see. I see what I'm supposed to do. So this is sort of like... There's a specific order of operations you're supposed to use here. Can I save? No, I'm not sure to quit. Oh, I can save. Would you look at that? Okay. So we're supposed to go down here. We're supposed to collect some weapon. 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 And then we can go up here. Whoa. Oh, the, what, did you notice the man? There was a, uh, here, here's my mouse cursor. Look, look, look right there. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. he's gone now. What? This game makes me uncomf. Weapon. 
Ow. Okay, now I just used the power uh, to stop the light. I was low on health, and I did not notice it. So I can load at this point. Oh, okay, so I can I can save myself some time here. Okay. Okay, 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 I think I got it. So, I'm going to do all this. Let's get to the point I can reliably get to. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save here. Okay. And now... that ball down it's a it's, it's one of those sort of action puzzlers okay we get the health okay oops makes the blaster master aerial bombardment noise I wonder if that's a mistake I wonder if that's a, an accident okay let's blow that up throw the couple of those. Okay. Whoa! Wait, door? <gasps> uh. Now I feel like that man over there is going to murder me in a hot heartbeat. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yep. All right, um, um, okay, so I need someone to go get that Animorph book cover generator if it's still around. I need you to put in a picture of, like, a, a knight dude and then a treasure chest. I need you to generate that. I need you to get it over to my Discord. Someone, someone take care of that. I'm too... Whatever I am right now. How do I open? The, how do I open the goo door? How 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 do I open the uh uh? How do I open the time split from Star Trek: The Next Generation season two episode Times Arrow? Oh, I'm sorry. I have to pick the correct of the six datas and tell him to put the isotope into the reaction. Whoa. This game is um incredibly good. This game is excellent. What is the name of this game? I've completely forgotten what we're playing here. This is called Cold Dreams. Holy crap, there's a lot of files in this folder. This game looks extensive. Uh huh. This game consists of 190 files. Um, no, the bomb is probably for the wall that's labeled bomb, I would think. Uh, but let's check. Okay, there's a flying bomb. Oh, needed to open the rotating doors. Maybe you're right.
That worked. This is not a Metroid, but it is absolutely fascinating. Also, now what? Is that all I came here for? That doesn't get me very much, and it cost me a lot to get it. That can't be all that's down here. Huh. Yeah, I have concerns. Um, okay, all right. I have the feeling, I think I'm actually, you know what, I think I'm skipping something. Let's head down here. Okay, if nothing else, we can get a knife. Oh, I did not intend to use those. There's so many of these pips, I'm just going to go ahead and... Okay. Can't remember what's down here, but I think I'm supposed to do it. No. Okay, I'll come back to that. I think there's something I'm supposed to get from upstairs and then take down there. But first, let me take a selfie. Ow, crap, bastard. Okay, I used one of my health power ups. It's not really the end of the world. Ow, I did not intend to run into that man. Okay, let's just get to it and bomb. <gasps> Ain't no one was expecting the the mo the 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 Super Nintendo Super Effects effects. What? No! What? Did that man say something? <coughs> this game slaps in an immeasurable level. I don't even have words for how dope this game is. This game is stupid cool. Do I have another one of those gadgets for stopping the lightning? I guess I don't. Is there a pattern to this? Nope, looks 100% random. That's right, I got it. Um, what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to go up and I'm going to collect those uh, swords that I saw up there. I mean, we don't know. My character could be a lesbian. Oh, man. I almost took some totally unnecessary damage there. Oh! Whatever. I'm going to go ahead and save. And that's why I saved. I'm just going to going to cheese this. Okay, there we go. Successfully cheesed. By the theme, do you mean the music, which is extremely banging and also weird? Uh, or are you talking about, like, the whole Egyptian, but also whatever the hell else this is? I mean, I'll, I'll accept either answer. Oh, you know what? Oh, look at that. Hang on a second. I found a, I, I found a, uh, well, I can't, there we go. I'm in the block. Look at that. I jumped through the block. Oh man, you could totally glitch this. I mean, who do, right? Well, I didn't need to take that damage, but I think we finished the level. Uh, well, I don't think Spelunky was based on this. I think Spelunky was based on the same thing as this, which is basically, uh, God, I can't remember it. Um, it's not Super Pitfall. Um, 
Whoa, we're outside. This is going to kill me, actually. Hang on. Let me look it up. It's not Super Pitfall. No, it's not. Uh, uh, hang on. I'm going to find this. What is the damn... Um, No, La, La Mulana is the the modern game that again is based on. I'm talking about a game that's from like like 1987. I'm pretty sure. Um, give me a second. This is gonna kill me. I think it came out for the damn ColecoVision. Oops, sorry, Gibbs. Montezuma's Revenge. Montezuma's Revenge. Yes. Yes, that's the game that it came out for every conceivable platform, and you had to do crap like jump over spiders and like flying daggers and stuff like that. Uh, this game is inspired by that one. Super hardcore. And that's also where La Mulana and uh, um, the other one I've forgotten and all the others, they're all deriving from that. Like... Honestly, um, I mean, those games were dope as hell. They were, in a way, they were Metroidvania uh, ahead, you know, way ahead of their time. Yeah, we're definitely on Mars. Okay. Listen, Ziganox, I love you, but don't tell me you actually know what Phobos looks like at a glance. Do we even know? I assume we have I assume we have flybys of Phobos. Wait, can this guy get me over here? Yes! Ah! He stopped! What am I supposed to think? What do I do about that? You know what? Their position is being saved when I leave the screen, so I can't even go back on there. I need to find a different way past that. Extremely funny, though. Isn't Egyptian civilization on Mars basically the plot of Doom 3? Holy crap! Ah, they got aerial weapons! Wah! Oh, I thought I was dead. This is sophisticated. This game is big. There's like this whole gauntlet up here you've got to get through. And if you fall down, it drops you into that horrifying pit that we saw earlier. Oh, crap. I only just noticed how much health I had. And that's your anti-air weapon? Ooh, bomb. That is going to be handy. I'm going to be glad that I have the bomb, let me tell you. This is how I learned to stop worrying and love the bomb, in fact. I should save! Seems like a good place to use the bomb. save scumming because there's a leap of faith here. I'm guessing that if I jump off the right, it's going to drop me into a pit of monsters and kill me. Oh! Not the outcome I expected. Oh, reverse mimic. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Thank you. This game's so good! Uh, the axe travels uh, a little further downward, I think, but also it's just stronger. And I feel a little uncertain using the, uh... I feel a little uncertain using the, uh... 
the screen bomb here. This game just escalated fast. You notice that? We were like, we were messing around and we are no longer, Bernie Sanders is no longer asking. Yeah, maybe they follow the same trajectory, honestly. The exit key is just hidden in one of these little dragons? You could totally miss that. This game is awesome and also kind of bullshit. And, but in a way that's like... Wait, oh, that's right. I just read about Cydonia recently. Crap. There's not enough clearance to use the anti-air weapon. The idea of having weapons have, like, unerring collision with the ground is such a good one. Like... This is so dope. Whoa, was that the whole level? Wow, they... Oh, man, they almost did me in there. That was the whole level. Yes! Okay, this game gets an absolute 10 out of 10. No notes. As a kid, this would have kicked my ass, and I also would have loved it, I think. This is, this is just no notes. Hang on, I gotta look this up. Here we go. Immortality Productions. Did they make anything else? Nope. Nope. It's probably one guy. Uh, it's two guys. Balas Morosi and Attila Jenksena. We haven't even gotten to the robot yet. This was actually sold in a box, apparently. Das Ultimate of Jumpin' Runspiel. Das Sinik Merloslasen Verd. Don't know what that means. There's a picture on the front of the box of your character riding a dinosaur. Wow. Wow. Okay. Um, well, this is very good. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Ziganox. Oh boy. Okay. Okay. I think I successfully linked this image in chat. Oh wait, I was about to quit, but you know what? I see the robot. I see the robot. The boy approaches. Hello. Hello, boy. All right, let's review the help again. Magic, the least powerful weapon. Okay, follow mode or robot mode. Okay. So any collision will... Oh! Any collision will destroy the robot. Oh, I had ammo and then I ran out of it. That sucks. I done goofed. Well, okay, let's just... can travel from screen to screen. Yo, what do we got going on here? Is that the devil? I kind of figured that. Okay. All right. Uh, 
that game is phenomenal. There's a trainer? Wait. What? Okay, I think a trainer might mean that you're, like, invincible or something, but, like, no, it's not that. So, is this just an, is this just a, a stunt? Oh. Okay. Yeah, they meant tutorial. Okay, there's those. Exact same throwing sound effect that was used in uh, Jill of the Jungle. Oh, this is bullshit. Beware of the lance. Yeah, um, yeah, this is like, this is the dream, you know, this is what you hope to find when you just dive into a big pile of undifferentiated software, and I've done it often enough that it's just kept me coming back, like, there are gems, there's still gems to be discovered, you know, and there was every, you know, the, the decade it was so, yeah, this is sort of a Jill of the Jungle, and, and I mean, Jill is also, um, Jill was also sort of a uh, Montezuma's Revenge as well. I mean, it was an extremely influential game. Okay, we're going to play some other games before the end of the night here. Technically, the night is over because it is now Monday. It's Memorial Day, I think, and I shouldn't be working. Um, to uh, No, I don't consider streaming working. This is the only time I can let myself play video games without having business brain about it. Um, so, uh, anyway, actually, uh, uh, I'm going to run through some other games here and, and what's interesting is I actually know for a fact that several of them are going to at least be intriguing, even if not good, but probably several of them are going to be terrible. This is a quick basic game. <sighs> is this even going to be, uh, this is a text adventure. Wow. That happened. Fa that, <laughs> Things went downhill quick. All right, what do we got here? Enter your name, pilot. Oh, man. Oh, I love... Okay. What you're looking at here is mixed text mode and graphical... Uh, uh, graph... Bleh. A mixed text mode and graphics screen mode. Uh, uh, but not really. This is, this is almost certainly running at like 6... 40 by 480 VGA, I'm thinking. And what they've done is they've copied the system ROM font out of video memory and then used it to render text on the screen. So you're getting a perfect text mode version of your typical text mode text, but um, you're, uh, uh, you're getting it in a graphical mode. It always looks so unsettling because you're just using the default gray. Um, whoa, that was interesting. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Whoa, hello. Okay, this isn't good, to be clear. Um, and there's several problems with it, but this occupies an interesting category. Uh, so this might also be quick basic, honestly. Um, I can't stop firing, by the way. I'm not touching anything. It's just doing that. So... There was a type of software for the IBM PC in this era that you could think of as a sort of vector graphics game. Um, it's not exactly per se, but I would I would guess that this game is not... These are not sprites. 
that these are not being th these are not bitmaps that were made by hand and then are are being plotted to the screen bit by bit. I would guess that these ships are being drawn with a series of line commands actually being plotted, which means that um, if that's true, you could hypothetically you know scale this up losslessly, but uh, you'd run into precision issues. But anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, so there's two interesting uh, kind of phenomena in this era. One is hey, I got the laser upgrade. Uh, one is the uh, uh, that sort of thing where you know it's 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 basically basically a vector game. Um, which you don't think about on the PC, but they it was totally, you know, capable of it. You had bitmap addressable screens, so you could essentially just plot vectors and then rasterize them to the screen. Um, but the other, uh, the other uh, thing in that category is games that ran in, like, VGA or EGA high-resolution mode and used one-pixel-thick graphics like this is using. Um, commercial games never did this. There were... Like, if you play, like, you know, if, if, if you play, like, Commander Keen um, or any of the Apogee games or whatever, you know, anything that was actually sold in a box and had any success, you don't see this sort of just unfeathered, hard-on, hard-off. Oh, I said hard-on just there. Um, but you don't see this, you don't see this sort of graphics, right? You would see a laser beam that has a little gradient on either side of it. It's, it's a bright green beam with a dark green beam on either side of it. Um, you know, n never just these sort of MS Paint type uh, graphics. So I always find that sort of thing fascinating. Uh, m uh, not Moraf, but uh, uh, jeez, um, come on, brain, what's his name? Uh, Solu, uh, William Solu made a ton of games like that. Um, all his games pretty much were made in like EGA high res mode, and they all have the same that same sort of feel, uh, where they're uh, I'm about to blow up. Uh, they're they're using like a cleared hyperspace safely, leaving with with one one health. Um, yeah, Solu Software was a guy named William Solu. I think he's still around, um, and uh, he basically uh, made all these. Uh, Made all these puzzle games, um, almost entirely puzzle games. I think his website. I, I get the impression the guy must be Mormon or something like that, because it's just like his website is very like, oh, these are uh, uh, these are the family friendly games uh, that you can't get anywhere else. Sort of implying that you know everything is violence and you know, blah blah blah. Um, let me. Do I have a soul you? Oh, I do have a. Of course, I have a soul you folder. Are you kidding? Have you met me? Let's just let me just briefly show you Solu software. So every single Solu game started up like this, um, and they were all rendered in. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Moraf and Solu are like in the same space in my head. But yeah, so this is this is one of all all the Soul Use software games looked exactly the same. They were all made like this. And uh, while he has applied a very minimum level of, of detail to this, like there is the sort of yellowish blocks there do actually have a slightly darker yellow on the bottom of them, right? It's it's still that very stark, very crisp one pixel per detail um it just doesn't look professional, you know. It, it it doesn't look like anything that ever came out it came out in an arcade game. You know, Midway would not have sold this. Namco would not have sold this. You know, they, it, it, yeah. It's just sort of these games reeked of like a copy room. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I've been sort of a Solu software archaeologist, which is not true, but, well, uh, so I actually wrote, let me go get the link, um, I wrote an article on my website about a, uh, um, there we go, uh, I'll drop this link in chat, so, in the 
early 90s, there were changes made to how graphics cards implement older video modes. Specifically, they got rid of a ROM font, and consequently, it was a ROM font that theoretically nothing used, right? Um, or they, they put in like a pointer to, to use one font for, for both modes. Uh, and so what happened is, and I don't have it simulated here, what happened is uh, if you launch this game here on like uh, an ATI Radeon 7500, right? Um, or like an S3 Verge, you know, 3D. Um, if you start those up in DOS and you load this game, the font will be all corrupted. But just the text, the rest of the screen looks fine. And it, uh, so I did this big deep dive into it and uh, come to find out that this was a known thing that just got forgotten because DOS fell out of relevance and also most software doesn't do what this does. So what's going on here, like I said, is... Uh, <laughs> so this game is running in like EGA 640 by 350 graphics mode, I think. And the text on the screen is not being drawn by the BIOS. Like, it can be. It, it's possible to ask the BIOS uh, routines, um, or the DOS routines. I can't remember which. I think it's the BIOS. Um, you can ask the, the system uh, routines to draw text on the screen in graphical mode, but there's limitations to uh, what you can do with it. So uh, what you could do instead, if you want total control, is... You can just reach into video memory where the 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 fonts are stored because you can see those. Your graphics card, if you have like a, e, a CGA, EGA, or VGA graphics card or any graphics card, when you're in text mode, when you're in when you're booting the machine up and you're in text mode, what you're looking at the text is a, a character table that is burned into ROM. And it appears at a specific location in system memory. So as a software developer, that's basically free real estate. You don't need to include your own font. You could just slurp it straight out of system RAM, um, RAM uh, because it's always in the same spot. And you're not reading RAM. You're actually reading a, a, a ROM chip on the, the graphics card. But um, there's an 8x8 and an 8x14 and an 8x16 font. Um, on the EGA graphics card that are stored here, here, and here in memory. And you can simply reach into memory and pull them out in order to write text into a game uh, yourself. And so, uh, let me let me just close and restart that. Uh, and so, when this game starts, this text here that's being drawn very large and in two colors is actually the system ROM font. It's the same one you see when you're at the DOS prompt. He has copied it into memory, scaled it up, and then written it to the screen. So if you change that ROM font, that big text will change as well. Well, this is actually... Uh, so uh, what happened is when Visa came along and they... Uh, they implemented all these. Uh, they implemented a new. Um, they implemented a new. Uh, <clears throat> pardon me. Visa saw a problem in the early '90s that all these new graphics cards were coming out that had all these new capabilities, um, but they weren't standardized. So, CGA, EGA, VGA, you could write software that would address all three of those IBM cards or any compatible card. So up to about 1989 or thereabouts, virtually every graphics card in existence that was not special purpose, that was not explicitly designed for CAD or driving high resolution monitors as its sole purpose, you could write software that would simply check, do you have CGA, EGA, or VGA, and then pick the highest mode um, and run in that mode. And it would be 100% compatible because the Visa, sorry, the VGA standard and, and the older ones were completely known. They were fully documented. IBM explained absolutely everything about how they worked. So all these cards were totally compatible. Well, then in the late 80s, really throughout the 80s, but particularly in the late 80s, 
they started making new cards that just broke the mold and and did not have any compatibility with those previous cards. And so a bunch of graphics card manufacturers, if I'm remembering correctly, I might not be, but basically somebody said, no, this can't happen. This is unacceptable. We can't have this uh, this coming disaster where every single program, every AutoCAD, Microsoft Word, Microsoft Windows, um, every single piece of graphical software and every single video game on the system is going to have to include, like, oh, you don't have a Plantronics Color Plus 128? Sorry, that's all we had on hand when we wrote that game, so there's no way it can work on your system because we couldn't write a driver for it. No, that's unacceptable. This cannot be allowed to pass. So they came up with a way uh, uh, with this uh, standard interface um, the Visa, uh, no, Her well, Herc was pretty widely supported, but it does make the point that, yeah, as soon as you introduce one more incompatible mode, all of a sudden, every piece of software has to say, oh, do you have CJ, EJ, or VJ, or Hercules, and then it expands and balloons from there. So anyway, um, so then uh, Visa came along and said, okay, all the graphics card manufacturers, sit down, shut up, and listen to us. You are not going to make a VGA or an EGA or a CGA. You are going to make Visa cards. It'll be a universal interface that all graphics cards speak, and nobody will ever have to start a new piece of software and have it say, oops, sorry, can't talk to your card. I've never seen it before. And it worked. Everyone implemented it. The Visa BIOS extensions fixed the problem until such a time as graphics cards became so sophisticated, which happened about eight years later, or thereabouts, um, when the 3D accelerators started coming out. And, and even now, like the, the Visa BIOS, if I understand correctly, the Visa BIOS is on my GeForce 3070. Like the fact that Windows can start up with no graphics drivers and display at 1024 by 768, I believe is because they still implement the Visa BIOS extensions. So, this was a big deal. Um, it 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 made a uh, it was a huge divergence point where computing almost got horrible, and instead it didn't. It was almost very 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 bad, um, and Visa just saved the day. Well, the problem is, in order to put those Visa BIOS extensions into the ROM on your graphics card, and of course, for reasons, two things. One the layout of memory on piece uh, um, a, a, in the low level um, when the PC starts up, which is where your your VGA BIOS or your Visa BIOS takes effect, that's all standardized. So you can't really expand it too much. Uh, and also ROM chips on graphics cards, the portion that contains the BIOS, that is the part that actually makes the system display text on startup and whatnot. Yes, it's the same Visa. They had a lot of impact. Um, <clears throat> That, that the basic low-level routines of a graphics card of this era were their own chip that was on the board that was just mapped straight into system memory, and those were always a specific size. So for a couple of different reasons, there wasn't enough room to put the standard, put all the parts of the... Because, sorry, what happened is you'd have Visa-compatible cards being sold in, like, 1991, and they supported all the new Visa modes, but they still had to provide the VGA, EGA, and CGA backwards compatibility layers. So you were selling these cards that had four different BIOSes built into them, right? So things were getting cramped, and Visa stopped it from getting any worse, but it came in just a little bit too late. So in order to affect this change, they had to make one unfortunate compromise, which was... They had to free up a tiny bit of space for some extra, like, pointer tables. And they did this by deleting one of the three fonts that was stored in every single video card up, up from the EGA to present. So, like, eight years, six years, yeah, six years of cards that it all had this 8x14 font. Nobody was using it for anything. Um, and it wasn't all that different from the 8x16 font. So Visa said, okay, we're going to do one compatibility breaking change for a thing that almost nobody cares about. We're going to delete the 8x14 font. But it's okay, because we're going to implement a BIOS that points any request for the 8x14 font to the 8x16 font, which is fine. It looks fine. It's not a big deal. It's like... There's a missing pixel at the bottom or something. It's it's okay. And it is okay if 
the software uses the BIOS routines to get the location of the font. There's actually like there's a there's a pointer table or a system call you make. I don't remember which, uh, which tells you this is the ROM location for the font. So you ask it for one of those three fonts, and they just aliased two of them. Great. Nope. Yeah, and that's why a lot of software was not affected by this change. But because people like William Solyu wrote their software by hard coding the memory location of the 8x14 font, um, it doesn't the alias doesn't work. So uh, instead of asking the card, hey, where is the font, and then grabbing it from the response location, it just goes straight to where it thinks it knows the font is. Well, that's been replaced by a bunch of pointer tables, uh, code for running the Visa BIOS. So the game renders some total garbage. Um, now, you know, this was almost totally unseen by users, except... Sim City, the first Sim City, I think it was, actually did this, and um, uh, so it was one of the games that was broken when people started getting Visa uh, capable cards, and um, the uh, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, the um, uh, the end result is that there was actually a fix. There was a fix made available by a bunch of different companies in the uh, back in the day uh, where you could. Um, <clears throat> Pardon me. Uh, you could run a little program, and it would just patch the. Uh, I think it would copy the eight by sixteen and actually dump it into the eight by fourteen location in RAM, or something like that, and it would it would solve the problem. But uh, yeah, this was this had just been totally forgotten, you know, by everyone more or less by the time I looked into this. Because I curiously, and this is this is what I find really fascinating as far as how this lines up. I had a sort of time shifted childhood where I was using a lot of stuff. My family didn't have a whole lot of money, but they used to have some money. Um, and so I was, like, using PCs that were several years out of date. Um, but when they weren't, when they were current, my parents had bought a bunch of stuff for them um, and just accumulated a bunch of stuff. So I had, like, a whole bunch of graphics cards and whatnot that were quite a bit older. I've been retrocomputing since I was, like, four, uh, basically. And so uh, Gibbs always wants attention. He's just like this. And so uh, the end result is curiously that while I was playing these Solu software games after the Visa era began, considerably after, I was playing them with like Genoa brand Genoa brand graphics cards that didn't have the VBE. So I never ran into this problem. And I I remember that eventually I got like an S3 Verge 3D that I was doing most of my, you know, DOS era stuff on, because of course the those cards barely had any functional 3D, so they were just, like, VGA-capable cards. It would light up a monitor good enough, right? Um, and uh, uh, at that point, I had given up on all this this Solu crap, and I never liked SimCity 1. Uh, so I, ne I just never never encountered it. I never ran into it until I started messing around with DOSBox really heavily, went back and revisited the Solu software games, and uh, got, got bit by it. So, yeah. Uh, that's... Uh, that's the news from Lake Wobegon. Whoa! Oh, you know what? We have a bit of a problem. Um, I need to... Uh, sorry, I need to fix the uh, cycles for this next thing. Where is it? Cycles, cycles, cycles... Uh, there we go. Cycles fixed. Uh, let's do 4,000 and see how that performs. Oops. Yep. Yeah, I got a number of Korean games. I won't be able to play any of them because of the language barrier. Ziganox, that's beautiful.
Would you like to be my coach? Coach? Bo a boggle coach? What would I do? You, you don't have to do, do, do anything. You just have to b b b be there. Wow. This is, um... This is quite... Quite an intro. Sorry, I hit the fast forward for a second. Oh man, that weird... This thing is glitching out so hard because it's written for like one very specific computer that must have been super common in uh, Korea at the time. <laughs> Dallas, uh, Korea Telecom. Wow. Oh man, this is maximum mystery meat navigation. I have no idea what this game is, by the way. I don't know if this is diegetic or if this is copy protection. It might be both. Screwed that up. That's your options. Damn it. <laughs> okay, well this is clearly completely inaccessible, so I'm gonna go ahead and quit. Okay, that was Cyber P. What we got here? Dan Barry. Dan Burry, actually. Oh, you press up to jump. This is European as hell. These graphics are gorgeous, though. I gotta say. Oh, he's just gonna keep on coming, isn't he? Oh, wow. The collision detection. This is not good. Ow. Oh, it's not insta-death. Okay. That's good, at least. Okay, this looks extremely dull. This is like a ZX Spectrum game. Not very well coded either. And it looks very repetitive. Like a procedurally generated adventure game almost. Cool, I got something. This music bops a bit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this is cold dream isn't Yeah, that wasn't good. But then what is? This might be... Wait. Oh. What's the difference between setup and eye setup? Ooh. 
oh, you know, I may have actually tried to play this once before. Uh, and of course, you know, this is also Korean and um, difficult to... Uh, Ah, there we go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty dang sure that I tried to install this before. And, uh... <laughs> dang! It won't... Oh! It won't accept, um, subdirectories, it looks like. Rough. Maybe, maybe, maybe you should enter. <laughs> uh, Harley Davidson. We like mowers. Okay, let's get a bop. Well, I just skipped that. Okay. All right. So what? Oh, copy protection. And this is not cracked. Yep. Okay. That's what happened the last time I tried to run it. Oh, whoops. Not the right folder. Probably installed into the existing danger folder. I think I did this once before. Oops. Yeah. Okay. He's pushing. Oh, yeah, okay. This one I all... You know what? I may have been in this folder before, now that I think about it. I feel like I recognize this. And of course, I can't play any of it, because language. This looks super dope, though. I like the guys animating one frame in Whoa! Everybody animates one frame in, in between each uh, dialogue box. I'll tell you what, though. I may not be able to read any of it, but, uh... This looks incredibly hype, if I'm honest. Like, just this dialogue. That's incredibly tedious. We'd be here for, like, 15 minutes just for me to read, like, two or three boxes. Um... Well, not that many, but like one or two scenes, you know? Like it would do it, nah. It would, it would take so long, it'd be so tedious. It's pretty late at night anyway, I should, I should go soon. I just wanted to take a peek at this. This is so cool. This looks so cool. Has anybody translated this? The answer's gonna be no, but I mean... What's the name of this game? Hang on a second. Uh, would this be... Dark Seraphim. Uh, no. Nobody has even a little bit translated this. Well, at any rate, it's super cool looking. But who knows if it's really super cool. Alright, I'm gonna... I think, like, half the remaining games I have here are Korean. Salt Dragon. This music's dope. Hmm. 
Is this just gonna be a shmup? Feels like it. Oh, whoa. Oh, right, yes. So this is a horizontal shmup, uh, which I refer to as a shmulver, because you shoot him over, not up. Um, wow, I wonder if that frame rate can be helped with the addition of more CPU cycles, or if this is just locked the way it is, because I already gave it a few more. But I didn't see any improvement, but let's give it a bunch more. Yeah, no, no, no improvement. So I think this is just the way it is, which would be a bummer because this looks pretty cool. But boy, this is really hard to play. Um, they're doing like mode seven effects for the ground. That's cool. I like that. Okay, we got a shield. Some neat sprite work going on here. Big fan of that. Boy, it is really hard to like even focus my eyes on what's going on. I like how when you get close to the ground, it goes. Does it go? Does it? If I keep thinking it, it feels like it's moving faster when you're out of the ground, but maybe it doesn't. I sure am getting a lot of options. Yeah, yeah. I mean, other than the frame rate, this seems dope. Um. There's also some really, I saw in a screenshot I found online, there's some really neat uh, 3D effects that, that pop up later. Um, I just don't know if I'll survive long enough to get there, given the, the frame rate situation. And also, the game's very hard. Like, this this is a lot to, to, to just dump on the player right from the get-go. Yeah, there's, there's a lot going on here. Good music. Good music. Oh, damn it. I took a lot of damage there. A lot of damage. Jeez, just getting my ass kicked. Yeah, I think that's going to reset me to the beginning of the level. <sighs> Bummer. Okay. Gibbs is, again, standing directly in front of my monitor, um, just being a pissy little kitty because I'm not paying attention to him. Error initialize audio. Okay, that one's also very much... Oh, this actually, was that was that the Chinese one? Yeah. That's right. I had uh, had one of these that was. Uh... Oh man. Okay. Well, let's just do none. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Huh. Okay. Yeah, that background was very hard to. Uh, yeah. Okay, weird. So we get a, we get another. Huh, none of those buttons work. Oh, I think. Wow. Huh. Look at the system. I, I give him pets, but like. He still won't move out of the way of the monitor, so I just kind of keep doing what I'm doing. Great graphics. Loving the art. Get the whole intro here, and then, yeah. Dead Force. Damn. It's art style. This is probably another RPG that I won't be able to play. Yep. Uh, yeah, that is exactly what it is.
Okay, good, good, good news. Good news, everyone. I just accidentally full screened it. Oh, is this a strategy game? Kind of looks like it. Okay, well, again, uh, I wish I had time to muddle through this a little bit more, but I don't. I could have sworn I had a couple more games in here that were slightly more approachable. Digital Dreams Multimedia. Yeah, I just... There was a bunch of Korean games in there that I just grabbed, you know, so... Whoa! The morph. I love it. Oh, this music's good. <laughs> Thanks, Toka. Have a good night. Wait. Grumman? Lockheed? Douglas? George Lucas gonna sue somebody. That's really funny that they just invoked the actual, uh, yeah. Boy, that's very, very funny. All right, well, anyway. Uh, Gibbs is here, do you, everyone, do you see this? He's here, he's here at this time. Welcome to the Fantasy Zone. Get ready. Okay, and then it's just another schmolver. I don't think this is going to be all that remarkable. Sure do love blowing up these stroids. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, so it's this type of thing. The, the sped up voices, I wonder if that's a CPU situation going on there. Oh, this is the one that has the uh, pseudo 3D effects. I guess they're not pseudo 3D. I just thought they were from the pictures. This is definitely a Gradius. Oh, damn it, I did not want Bean. Is this a mid boss? Well, that's an interesting strategy. I win. Yeah, okay, so I think we've seen that whole game. Not, you know, absolutely terrible. If you wanted to have a Gradius on the personal computer, then I suppose that would do it. Oh, so this is an adventure game I saw um, a screenshot of online that's definitely made of uh, photographs from an actual place. And I thought that was interesting. So, uh, oh, and then it dies as soon as I do anything. Huh. Hmm. Oh, so this is a demo. Okay, let's... Try this again. Yeah, I think that's crapping out as soon as I try to like load anything. Uh, in fact, oh, actually, it may not be working at all. Damn it. Oh, pardon me. Okay, well, no dice with that one. What do we got here? Oh, 
Softland. That's a Japanese publisher, I believe. Pretty sure. I believe this is an RPG as well. Oh. Huh. There's like a there's like a Pikachu hanging out up there. Whoa. Wait, it's a fighter? What? He just switched from chibi to like sort of standard anime style when you zone. Oh, and she's got like a... Oh, there's a bunch of moves. So, or, wait, or, oh, so that's jump, unless you're doing down and forward, in which case it's a dash like, or a slide like that. No one was expecting this outcome. Absolutely nobody. Yeah, but it's definitely like a full RPG. Let's talk to someone. Yep. Oh, you know what? Actually, is that a PlayStation plugged into the TV? Because it's definitely got the wings on the controller. I don't know what else that would be. And this was from 95, so the PlayStation was out. So, yeah. Yeah, there's that. Damn, she has got poise. Her walk cycle is extremely powerful. me on my way to the 7-Eleven to get six taquitos at three at the three at night three in the morning oh jesus speaking of which it's almost almost one o'clock okay that also looks very interesting obviously impenetrable to me um those are gonna be as well okay i'm gonna play one more game before i go to bed if it'll run oh no this is one of those standard uh it's one of those standard uh, uh, crappy game engines of the era. There we go. Commander Zine. Mm. <sighs> the good stuff. H. Holy crap, he can jump high. Hey, those guys weren't lethal in Commander Keen. Come on. Sorry, Nady, I'm going to be going to bed very shortly here. I've been doing this for like two and a half hours. Oh no, it's got the bad, it's got the bad jump physics. Ugh. Yeah, I, I think I also ended up with this. Alright, that game's terrible. All right, thank you, everyone. Um, it's been a good night. Made my night a lot better, actually, because I was having a, oof, kind of a rough one. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bounce. Um, yeah, it was Commander Zine with an X. If you want to look it up yourself, I sure as hell don't want to play it anymore. Um, thank you all. Hope you have a good night. I'm gonna try and go to bed. But um, bum bum, and. Uh, I'm going to go watch some Crontendo and fall asleep. Good night, everyone.